Hi, today we're going to talk about this uh, quick tip that I done uh, self made for future logs a few years ago. Um, you can find this uh, star frame on my website. Um, I'm going to explain the technique behind it and I'm quickly going to approach the material but I've done it in V-Ray. So here's kind of the final outlook of what I'm going to present and show you guys. So let's just hide this and go and let's start from scratch. So let's go for the LX object and at the moment it's well, quite big. So let's go to object and I'm going to kind of make it smaller. Here, let's change it to seven and increase the end angle. Okay, let's probably go for a thousand and five hundred. Okay, this looks pretty good to me. Um, so now let's go to cloner and I want to duplicate this uh, elix. So let's change because now it's on the Y, we need it to be. On the X so let's maybe put three cool let's just add a few more yep yeah, it looks good and now I want to make it as an one spline so let's just use the connect and I'm just actually gonna duplicate it just because I always like to keep it just for safety uh, all right let's do one Okay, now if we press C, just make it editable and now we have it as one spline. Um, now let's just uh, put a circle because we're going to want to have it some thickness on this. Um, maybe 0 0.25. Let's put object sweep nerves, put it in there and okay. So this is kind of the base for it um, and this is really uh, easy and you can just have a lot of variation from it. Let me just kind of push this along. Uh, Alright, so now pretty much all we need to do is add a twist to it. And uh, I've tested this before so go ahead and just play with the values. Um, I'm gonna just, uh, let's see it like that is better, All right. I think I put minus uh, 90. Uh, let's fit it to parent and all we have to do now is change the angle. Okay. Just do it a bit. Okay, let's put it back. Okay. So now let me check the different view and I'm just, here we go, push it a bit and we have this nice angle. You can do this in many ways, that I just find it with a twist you can experiment a bit more. And now the final touch is actually just a displacement, so if you put it inside the sweep nerves and just on the shading, if you add a noise, just a normal one, you already start seeing that's pretty much the full effect. Just lowering down the height. Just actually going to put a so like just move it out a bit, and this is pretty much the. And you can see already it's quite interesting, and um, it's not exactly the same as my style frame, but it's just a technique. Uh, I'll show you now uh, the one from the style frame. As I said previously, this was done in V-Ray, so I've I don't have the material, but I can show what I've done to get this kind of smoky translucent material. Uh, this is just with a normal render at the moment. Uh, just to show quickly what I've done. Uh, I believe I had a little bit of glass look when I was doing it in V-Ray. Um, but so pretty much what you have to do in material is just um, on the color I just put a gradient, a little bit of reflection, but in the alpha it's just a texture. So if you go to texture, surface, and then galaxy. And that's what creates that kind of alpha structure that you can see. Thank you.